Sports with Pete Byrne. It's become one of the most popular summer traditions in town since Brian Kelly took over as head football coach at Notre Dame. Football 101 was held tonight on campus. Are you going to hit the bag? What am I doing? Are you going to hit the bag? I don't know. You don't know? It's a game time decision. It's fourth and inches. It's fourth and inches. Oh! That was, dude, that was phenomenal form. I mean, that was... Keep your head up, you know, no concussions. Oh, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't do it, don't do it, there we go. There we go, there we go, good job. Way to protect both of you, good job. She had a baby. <laughs> I don't think anyone had more fun out there tonight than Matthias Farley, the Irish senior defensive back, one of several players helping run the ladies through the drills this evening. Hundreds of women gathered to learn about the game of football and to support a great cause. It's just a great cause. I mean, there's a lot of women out here who have come from all over the country, supports breast cancer. The Kelly Cares Foundation does a ton. And so, I mean, any opportunity we get to give back, I think it's absolutely important to do that. And, uh, you know, I have a blast out here seeing these ladies come out and just have a blast with their friends. So it's just, there's a lot of energy. I'm soaked and sweating already, but it's awesome. I think when the ladies hit the, uh, the stand-up dummy where it pops right back up, uh, that's pretty fun to watch. <laughs> uh, we make sure they sign a medical waiver on that one. Uh, but I, I think for them to just get out here and have fun, and, and as Pocky said, to get an inside look um, at, at what you know college football is about. It's a kind of a special feeling in the fact that we see some of the same people coming back for the event, and it's kind of a, an affirmation of what this event is, is supposed to be, which is really a celebration. Packy Kelly told me tonight the event has raised more than $400,000 for the Kelly Cares Foundation since they began.